Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this digital anemo meter. This is a wind meter and uh, of course it's digital and you have the ability to change to a few different measurement units. It came a little box like this, not much information out here. Uh, inside you actually get uh, this nice little unit here with a carrying case and uh, you can open it up. And here inside is the unit itself as you can see. So the unit itself comes with a 9 volt battery. It's inside this compartment here. You just have to take off the screwdriver and then take it out of the plastic wrapping before using it. Other than that, it's a pretty simple unit. As you can see here, you have some uh, some button up here, on up button function. You have the hole, you have the min max setting, and then you have the unit and then the little light button. So let's just turn on the unit as you can see here. Come on just like that as you can see. And let's get up a little bit closer. You have right now in the slow mo, you have the velocity, and at the bottom here, you have the measurement in meter per second. So you can switch between the different units by pressing this button here kilometer per hour, a mile per hour, and you have feet per second, feet per minute, and then you have not. So if you blow on this unit, as you can see now the values here will start changing, as you can see, and then there is your uh, min and max, and then uh, you can just set the uh, this value here, if you set the max and then it will just keep the last max value. So here we go. You can see there, and it will keep the max value. So you can see there the fan is very freely flowing in order to measure accurately. And then you can press it again and you can get the min if you need to. And then uh, you can hold this down to get rid of it and go back to the normal mode. So you can see here right now I'm in the velocity mode and I can press this little function key here to switch to another mode, use this an area mode. So you have this area mode here, I'm a little bit confused on how to use this. Uh, according to the user menu, it is a area setting required by the air volume. So uh, you can just make the adjustment now. But if you press it again, you go into flow mode. And now uh, when you're in this mode, you're basically measuring the air volume and this is in uh, cubic meter per second and you can switch the unit of course, different unit that you can see. If you press it again, you will go into the back to the velocity. Of course, you also have this hold button here, which will hold a value that you currently do in reading. It's kind of similar to the min and max, but of course, it just holds whatever values you want to hold. You also have the light button here. It produces very nice a white backlight, as you can see. Look very nice. But yeah, pretty cool little unit. Uh, so far, I've been using this unit here to measure um, the wind around the area here when I'm playing with my quadcopter to get an idea how good my quad can handle them. And uh, so far it's been working really well. Uh, so far I'm really pleased with the unit. It's very simple to use. You do have a lot of different functionality, but uh, of course I just mostly just check the uh, velocity of how fast the wind are moving uh, for my purpose. So I hope you showed a little review, help me in your project decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.